What makes you feel like giving up? When it's hard to get started? When it takes too much time? Too much repetition? Too much discomfort? Too much saying no to other things you want to be doing? Sometimes you just want to say, enough! It's not worth it. I give up. But when you choose to stick it out, when you choose to put in the time, the repetition, the discomfort, the focus. You find it gets easier. You gain momentum. You can see the goal line ahead. And you get excited as you make your final rush to the finish. God can give you the power to stick with it and follow through. Whether you're learning an instrument or you're learning how to shoot a three-pointer, or maybe simply trying to clean your really messy room. <laughs> With God's help, you'll be saying, can't stop, won't stop. When you choose to finish what you start, even when it's tough, others can see God's power at work in you. That's why determination is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship it's about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Hey, John. Whoa. Got enough ice cream? <laughs> John. John. Ah! Ah! What are you doing? I must keep 
eating. Hold on a second. Did you eat all of this? Yes. Why did you eat all of this ice cream? It's expiring today. Oh, it is expiring today. Next year. Ah! What kind of ice cream takes a year to expire? Mm. Huh. You got a brain freeze? Body freeze, freeze, freeze. Freeze! Stop no. eating it! Stop! No! No! Yeah. John, and this is the So and So Show, your one stop shop for fun, frivolity, and faith based findings. Ooh, I love alliteration. Me too, me too. Say, yes. What's with the wings? Oh, yes. You like them? Uh, sure. Yeah, so glad. You know, you know how people say you can't fly with wings made of paper? You can't fly with wings made of paper. Yeah, I like that. Well, I have found a way to make it happen. Uh, John, there are impressionable kids watching. Maybe you shouldn't say that you can fly No! I can make it happen with this amazing new product! Oh. Hey. Hey. Uh, Brandon, can you help me? Oh. I, yeah, I guess. Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, what is uh, this thing? Uh, it's delusion and fusion gel! That's impossible! Or isn't it? Hi, it's a Looney Larry here with another Looney offer so good, it's not true! Do you have dreams far out of your reach? Are you worried you don't have the stick to to make them happen? Well, worry no more! Introducing the Delusion Infusion Gel! I've never been able to catch a single sports ball. Baseball, basketball, volleyball, football, by the look at me now! <laughs> Delusional dreams can come true with Delusion Infusion Gel! Order now and you'll get one bottle for the price of three! That's right, one for three! I promise you'll be amazed because I'm Looney Larry and would I lie? All sales at Looney Larry's are fine. Product may not actually work. In fact, it won't. It may not make delusional aspirations real. In fact, it won't. Hold the position if delusions become real. Not available where products are sold. So I'm guessing this is what, an adhesive? Yep. Huh. You know how I know? How? I can't let go of the bottle. Okay, okay, here, let me help, let me help, let me help. Help, okay. Yeah, yeah, let, okay, here's what we'll do. Okay. I'll put my foot here on your chest. All right. All right, you put your foot on my leg, and then on the count of three, we'll drop it, ready? One, two, two three, ah! Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Thanks for that. Yes, not a problem. <laughs> now, under my dream of flying. Awesome, but you cannot fly with those. Those look like something a child would make. Well, you would be correct, sir, because I made those when I was 10. Ah, yes, I tried flying with them once. Boy, did that turn out badly. <laughs> that seemed like a good place for a flashback. Mm. Mm. Anyway, this time, if I attach them to my back with delusion and fusion gel, I might be able to, you know, get more lift. Help me! Okay, what do I need to do? See that pan of gel on the desk? Yes. How'd that get there? Editing. Now just roll some gel all over my back. Oh boy. Okay, right, perfect. I okay, now I want you to put some on my wings. Okay. All right. All perfect. over? Yes, all over the back. Oh, that's perfect. Have that you done right. this before? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is really okay. Good. Now okay. I need your I help enough. to put these wings on me. All right, All right. so just hand uh, them to me. There right. you go. This is lovely, lovely. Oh, I'm gonna okay. Put this uh -huh. on the ground. Get it yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Brandon, you can back up. I can't, John. 
What? We're stuck together, man. What? We are stuck together. No. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, what? <sighs> great, man. Now I'll never fly. Is that all you can think about? How are we gonna do the show this way? I don't know. Let's let's let's, let's play a game. No, what are you talking about? Yes! What? I, Come on, I, hit the button, hit the I button, can't. hit the button. Why are we I need my just move to my hand. Ah, ah. It's Bible story time with Kellen. What's up, fellas? Kellen! Oh! Are you guys stuck together? Yes. yes. Hmm. You know what? Not even going to ask. What story you got for us, Kellen? Well, I'm so glad you asked. It's one of the coolest moments in history. It's where Jesus and he... What? No. Oh, no. Oh. Glad you came. Glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow-by-blow blow of the Bible story on the Mel Salomon story recap. Thank you, Kellen, for that beautiful introduction. You're the tops. I didn't say a thing. Yes, but it's how you said it. All right, I'm Melv Solomon. With me, as always, is my brother-in-law, Greg Ticklin' the Ivories. Say hello, Greg. Hello, Greg. <laughs> He's funny, right? <laughs> Trying to break into stand-up comedy. Say something funny, Greg. Um, orange. Orange, you hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Greg. Um, Melv, uh, I was kind of in the middle of a story. Hey, hey, don't let me stop you, Kellen. You do you, my friend. Am I right, Greg? Orange, you right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Kellen, uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, give us the biblical 411, and I'll uh, back you up with a little ditty when the muse hits. Right. Okay. So, Jesus had recently risen from the dead. Spoiler alert! And he had appeared to his followers for 40 days after that, teaching and performing miracles. Now, Jesus also met his disciples at the mountain in Galilee. Say no more, Kellen. I got the perfect tune for that. Hit it, Greg. 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 <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Not you. Play the tune, Greg. That's it. The mountains are definitely not dead. I can hear them singing from the wind in the trees to the crickets springing. Look out, there's a bear. Think it might be a grizzly. Next time, I'll vacation on the beach. What happened next? Well, Kellen? the disciples gathered together at the mountain. Jesus gave them this command. Hold up, Kellen. Words of Jesus need a little background music. Hit it, Greg. Greg! Greg! No, no, why did chicken cross the road? To play some background music for Kellen. Hit it. Sing it, Kellen. Not singing. A little spoken word, I can dig that. Jesus told his disciples, go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I've commanded you. And you can be sure that I'm always with you to the very end. Whoa, whoa, stop the music. Make disciples of all nations? That's a, that's a tall order. I know. And later, Jesus even said his disciples would tell people about him from one end of the earth to the other. That's almost the whole earth. It is. Do I have a tune for that? <laughs> Greg! Greg. Greg! Put a boogie in it! Greg, song now, all right? Attaboy, Greg. I said I'd walk 
to the end of the earth for you. If it's something I said, you know it's something I'll do. I put on my shoes and started on the trip. But the earth is actually round, so I'll never make it. What happened next, Kellen? Oh, well, after Jesus told his followers to tell the world about him, he was taken up to heaven. Whoa, whoa, come again? Yeah, he just went into the sky. And the disciples watched him go into the clouds. There were two men dressed in white who basically said, what are you looking up for? Jesus has been taken to heaven, but he'll come back the same way you saw him go. Jesus dies, everyone's sad. He comes back, everyone's happy. Then 40 days later, he's gone again? What gives, Kellen? <laughs> I mean, I thought Jesus was gonna hang with the disciples until the very end. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Jesus also told his disciples he was sending a helper. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Hit it, Greg. Greg. Greg! Who's going to send Ben Penguin? Oh, black, white, and red all over. Classic punchline, Greg. Play the tune. <laughs> No! Why, Greg? Why that song? Of all the songs in the world, why would you play that song? You're breaking my heart, Greg. In two pieces. No, three! Three pieces, Greg. So tell me more about this helper, Kellen. Um, are you sure? I think you hurt Greg's feelings. Oh no, he's fine. That, that's called theatrical banter. Right, Greg? No! You see? Yeah. Anyway, so Jesus gave his disciples kind of an impossible mission, didn't he? I mean, how are they going to tell the whole world about Jesus if Jesus wasn't there to help them? Especially without cell phones or internet or anything. They didn't even have mailboxes. So Jesus told them, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Then you will tell people about me. Wowie zowie, the Holy Spirit? Hey, 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 did Jesus send the Holy Spirit like, like he said he would? Uh, did, did the disciples tell the whole world about Jesus? I got to know how it ends, Kellen. I got to know. Well, here we are talking about Jesus 2,000 years later. What do you think? Boy, if that ain't the perfect place for a song, I don't know. Greg, come on, Greg. Come, you, you know you're my favorite brother-in-law, right? Come on, help me finish strong. It's for a good cause. Ah, Greg, you're the best. I can't do it, you can't do it. But with God, you know there's nothing to it. He can do things that are I impossible. January to December. No matter what, my friend, you must remember. God can do things that are I impossible. Yeah. Nicely done. Bye, Melv. Melv is so right, though. There are times in our lives when things seem so impossible, but we can't forget that God does impossible things all the time. And when you trust that he's with you, you'll be surprised just how possible the impossible can be. Back to you guys. That is so cool, Kellen. Yeah, man, thanks. No problem. Hey, um, I'm heading out now, or do you guys want me to stick around? Get it? Stick around, because... You guys are, you're stuck. Okay, see ya. It really is true. We really are stuck, yeah. No, no, when I remember God is with me, it, it helps me find a strength I don't normally have so, so I can get through something difficult, right? Yeah, which, which actually makes me think of a question. Well, reveal, reveal the, the question. question. <laughs> what seems impossible for you? John? Well, nothing comes to mind. No? No. Nope. Hmm. You? I can think of one thing that seems impossible for me personally, sure. Oh yeah, what's that? This. Uh, ah! Ow! Ow, stop, 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 stop. <sighs> Talk about it together. What seems impossible for you? And until next time.
This was uh, the so and so show. I'm gonna throw up. Oh, I'm coming loose. I'm coming loose. I just flew out here, and it was really expensive. The ticket. <laughs> One time I had a bowl of spaghetti, and after I got done with it, uh, I, w- I had an upset stomach. Spaghetti! Three people walk into a church. <laughs> Together! How many wheels are on a car? Four, right? Is that the right answer? <laughs> One time there was a guy wearing a chicken suit. <laughs> 